North Korea's leader has been emphasizing the need to develop recon satellites, which could be interpreted as a prelude to returning to ICBM tests. The regime released a report on related plans as South Korea declared it the election of a new president. Yoon Jong-min provides a deeper analysis. Concerns are rising that North Korea could be about to resume intercontinental ballistic missile tests, its leader Kim Jong-un having stressed the importance of developing reconnaissance satellites. The regime's Korean Central News Agency reported on Thursday that Kim visited the North Space Agency and laid out plans to add the production of more reconnaissance satellites as part of the regime's five-year development plan. Launching reconnaissance satellites requires technology similar to that of an ICBM. Late last month, North Korea fired a medium-range ballistic missile, which it claimed was a test for a reconnaissance satellite. When it comes to uh, launching surveillance satellites, uh, you need to have a space vehicle and the technology involved. It's very similar to the ones that you use to build uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Uh, in a way, it's simpler than that because you don't need to have re-entry technology. The report from KCNA came out early Thursday, right after South Korea declared that Yoon song yeol of the conservative opposition had been elected president. The new South Korean government may have to focus more on managing the Korean peninsula, with the North having recently continued to signal that it's strengthening its armed forces. Regardless of the, the presence of a new government in South Korea after the elections, North Korea had already threatened to carry out a number of uh, uh, almost red line crossing uh, provocations this year. Some experts also point out that North Korea continues to advance its technologies, but it remains to be seen whether Pyongyang will actually conduct an ICBM test because of the risk of heavier sanctions. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.